So this is going to be a position to work on balance and really working on control of your pelvis. So I'm going to do it in a flight of stairs. I'll do it from, you know, facing this way and you'll see me from behind and then I'll turn around. Um, I like using a pole, especially if I have someone who's collapsing to one side. So many people, if they have weakness or caving in their trunk, they'll fall to one side. The posts help me to really elevate the side that I feel like I'm collapsing to. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to use the posts, but ideally I want to get away from the posts to be able to maintain the posture. So if my pelvis is sinking to one side, I may also be collapsing on that side. So I'm going to start with two posts facing the flight of stairs, right? And I'm going to put them up pretty high, at the very least the second stair, maybe even the third stair. My stairs, and I don't want to be reaching my arms too far away, so probably second, right? And I want to use these posts to think about pulling down through my shoulders, right? And almost like I'm lifting my head up towards the ceiling. And first, I want to see if I can take my pelvis from being shifted to one side and feel like I'm bearing weight equally through both feet. As I press down into these posts, it also helps me engage my stomach a little bit so you can see me from the side. As I'm here and I press down, I want to make sure my back is not like this, but I feel like I'm kind of pulling my hips underneath me. All right, so arms up high on the posts, lightly pressing down, right? And I'm trying to make sure that I don't feel like my hip is kicking one way or the other. So if that's all going well, then I start trying to progress this into a single leg balance activity. So I press into both posts, which helps me engage my stomach, and I see if I can take my foot up to tap the stair and come back down without this happening, all right? So I use these posts to really stabilize my shoulders I try and keep that stability as I come up and down. I can do that on both legs, right? Or if I have one side that I'm really collapsing to, I may keep the post on that side to really keep me upright and stop me from falling over, right? And then I'll do it maybe just with one post. Typically when I go to one post, I'll usually have the post in the hand of the leg that's moving. So when I take away a post, I like to keep that post in the hand of the leg that's moving. So I'm really trying to make sure that as I'm lifting this leg, I'm not starting to shift my shoulders away from midline. Just so you can see me facing you, same concept here. I press down, same taps. I'm trying to really make sure that I'm not letting my pelvis shift side to side, that I'm maintaining good upright posture as I'm going through this position. Post being up higher, this elevates me so I have less of a risk of me collapsing 